Hey guys, good evening. This is Karen from Baby's Love Nursery. And I say it like that because I changed the name again. <laughs> um, so Dottie was giving me a shout out last night on one of her videos about, um, I think, my new girl, Charlotte. And she put baby babies and she put LUV nursery. I'm like, that's a pretty cool idea. I, I want to do that. So, um, so I changed my name today from babies, B-A-B-Y apostrophe S to B-A-B-I-E-S and then capital L-U-V and then nursery, space nursery. So, I'm a lot of hand movement here. And da, 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 da. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, also, because I, really quickly after I changed my name, I learned that somebody else, and Brenda brought this to my attention quite a few months ago, that um, my nursery name was the same nursery almost as somebody else's name, Baby Love Nursery. And I had no idea that she was out there, that, that you know, I said, I guess we had the same name. And she's like, um, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Um, I wasn't trying to take it, I just didn't know that there was anybody else out there. Um, so, um, yeah. So I changed my name, and today, um, for my nursery, for my YouTube, for my Instagram, change that on Instagram too, that way you're on Instagram and you say, hey, that's Karen. Uh, no, it's not, because I changed my name. I made an apple pie today, and it was an arduous task. Usually, I'm pretty fine with it. I got my air on and my fan on, because I've been running the, the oven for like the last hour and a half. I'm mad. It's a whole new topic, a, a whole new issue. No, it's not that bad. Um, <laughs> so, I usually have wax paper um, that I put the pie crust in between, and I roll it out on the, on the wax paper. Um, it's not one to put flour on and roll it out that way because it's like a really a thick crust. And I um, barely had enough flour for it. I didn't have the wax paper. Last time I made one that was really so soft that I could just work with my hands and that is like not, not um, normal. So today I did all that. I took all the time of rolling it out. I did the little lattice strips that were kind of funky looking. And it's been cooking for the last hour and ten minutes. And I took it out, and the apples are still hard. Every other apple that I've ever used in my life. Not Macintosh, because if you want applesauce, use Macintosh. Because they, 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 um, they cook down pretty easy. I use, either use Gala, Fuji, Granny Smith are great if you can get them at a good price, but they were two forty nine at my um, farmer's market a pound. Um, so I use these other ones, and I figure they're apples. You know, what kind of apples not gonna cook down an apple pie after like an hour in the oven? These didn't. There's actually little burnt pieces on the edges of them because they've been cooking so long. And I have never, in my pies, I have never had anything burnt ever in the history of my pie making <laughs> ever so these apples were like the, the jazzy apples they stink to high heaven they really do and um, so I'm gonna have an apple pie tomorrow but it's not gonna be soft and succulent and and and, and just nice and what you think an apple pie should be homemade I do not like hard apples, like store-bought apples, like the store-bought, you know what I mean, pies. Um, I do not. My grandfather used to buy them, and I'm like, uh, Pup Pup, you should have told me I would have just made a pie. Um, that was his name. We called him Pup Pup. P-O-P dash P-O-P. Oh, God bless you. Miss you too. And, um, Uh, I just got a blessing. I could have just sworn that, that something just really just take lately just 
scratch my head when I did that. Just something like a really, like a really lovey, huggy, just touch. There it goes again. I pray that that's what that is. <laughs> Y'all know. So, apple pie just is not good. I did uh, manage to make some ice cream, like um, I've been making the popsicles, but I put it in a little tin and um, put a little, um, the plastic, the saran wrap, I'm not thinking my words today. Karen, use your words. Say it slow. It's okay. Get it out. <laughs> You're talking to a two-year-old. Use your words, Karen. It's okay. You can get frustrated. Just slow down. <laughs> Um, huh. so I put some saran wrap over top of it so it wouldn't form like a skin. So I'm going to bring my pot, the, the apple pie over and the little ice cream thing over. Um, you're probably going to have to, I'm going to leave it out for five to ten minutes before I scoop it on top because it's, um, it's really hard. Give me a minute. Um, so, yeah, I had a good day. I cleaned today, and now I gotta clean again and do my dishes again because I messed up. And I'm making a meatball um, parm sub hero tonight for dinner. That's it. That's dinner. <laughs> okay, so here is the very floury crust and hard apple pie. You know, after yesterday, I could have come out right, you know. But no, it's got to rear its ugly head. Something's always got to do that, the, you know. I'm just very unhappy with this pie. I've never made bad pie before, ever, in my life. That is one thing that I can lean on to not screw up. Like, cakes is my nemesis. Cakes are just always my nemesis. I can do cupcakes. Can I do real cakes? No! I'll show you the pie. So here it is. Just a little one on the bottom. These apples are completely hard. And they didn't soften at all and they didn't fall at all. Usually when you do a pie, it's all unnecessary sugar stuff on top put it in with the apples. I did a little bit of the egg wash 15 minutes before it was done. I don't like to do egg washes to begin with because then it's going to burn quickly. So I do them about 10 to 15 minutes before they're done. Just put um, an egg in a bowl, teeny bit of milk, scramble it really, really good till it's light and frothy, and just put it on all the crust on top. So there's that. I'm going to still eat it, because <laughs> y'all know me. I love food. I just love food. I'm Being that I am on my dining room table and not my computer table, I need a little bit more room. So there's that. I have a teeny little hot plate underneath it. Okay. And so, and then... Here is this. I bought this cute little Christmas Ziploc tin about a couple of Christmases ago at Target and it is kept well. So, I started peeling it off in some place. I think it's this right over here. And it's going to be kind of like iced cream with those little ice chips in there. And it's really hard right now. And that's the only spoon I have because everything else is dirty. I gotta do more dishes. So, if you try to chip it away right now, you're not going to get much. But if you leave it out for a good 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to get nice, soft ice cream. And I can't wait to eat this, even if it's not the best pie I've ever made. Cannot wait to eat it. So, there's that. And I also made, I think I told you already, that coconut popsicles.
and those turned out really good. There was hardly any ice chips in there, except for on the bottom. So, and my digital camera is giving me issues. I swear it's like every month with a new technological issue. This is a cord that I cook from the camera to the USB to the computer. And this is the way that I've always, ever since I've had any cameras to hook it together. Now you can take out the, what is it, the, um, the little SD disc. Sorry, I felt my... Oh, okay. I got, what is it called, a, like a ding, like a, like a notification. So, today, I plugged it in here, and it just didn't really want to go for me. I tried it like five, six times. I tried to charge it. I tried a different USB port, and for some reason today it just wasn't happening. So it took me a little while to figure out where that little SD card was. Not in here, but in the computer, what like file it was under. So I have something loading right now, um, and should have it up in. I'll tell you when right now. It could almost, it could be up already. It's up already. Pick this thumbnail. It's funny, I don't know about y'all, but I always get the thumbnails that look like. <laughs> I always get the, the, the pretty most, you know, like the one moment that you just make like an ugly face or that you're like in the middle of talking and go. <laughs> they always choose that for the thumbnail. Is it me or do they do that to y'all too? I'm going to get off here. I'm going to put the pie to the side. I'm not even going to bother baking it anymore. I'm hoping that when it cools, as it cools, it's going to soften a little bit. Besides that, I'm going to eat it anyway. So, na 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 boo 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 on you. <laughs> um, so, you're going to see night, Nighty Night Eden before you see this one. But I'm probably going to pause this. And make a my my well not the nut meatballs or turkey meatballs, and I'm gonna make a turkey meatball parm sub whatever, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So I'm gonna put you on pause and go relax or play with one of my babies. Bye guys. Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm back. I don't like this either. Uh, actually, the meatballs, the turkey meatballs, came out really good. Um, I just put an egg, some pasta sauce in there, and some the rest of my ragu, which is why they're good, and um, some breadcrumbs, and you know, salt, pepper, some garlic, some Italian seasonings, and they're really good. I just bake them in the oven for a half an hour, 35 minutes. But the sauce that I put on top of them. It's not ragu. I'm a ragu girl. I just pray go every now and then if they're on sale, but I love ragu. And um, if I don't have time to make a sauce, which I usually don't, unless it's like a really special occasion. I made a sauce sometimes for my mom's birthday in the past. And this is, I love the pasta. Berilla. Barilla. And it is so sweet. I hate a sweet sauce. Like, sweet is for desserts. A sauce should be, have a lot of flavors like rosemary and thyme and oregano and garlic. Not sweet. Yeah. No. So first my pie <laughs> did come out right. And now my, you're probably just thinking I'm too picky. I am. Um, this was just a day that was just supposed to be nice. It was supposed to be good. And, you know, I'm such a drama queen. <laughs> I love theatrical. Um, if you haven't already, see that little blip on um, Instagram I did about the scarecrows and the apple pie. It's really funny. So, really funny. 
I poured the sauce on and obviously that one side of it got really soppy soaky. This side more so. But that is my meatball parm hero. I come prepared. So, I put some extra salt on at the end so it would cut that sweet a little bit. So, this one is really good. This one I might eat first. Come on, baby. Come on, pick up. Yeah, she doesn't want to pick up because she's got, she's all soppy. See? Ain't that the worst? Just tribulations I'm having today. Just such tribulations and trying times. Oh. Huh? Okay. I'm either going to bite into really salty or really sweet. Either one of those are not good. But, to all my crying and complaining, thank you Jesus for these provisions that I have food in my fridge every day. Thank you, Lord. So, I am going to now end the video. I don't think there's anything else tonight that I have to show you. And I'm wearing a different shirt because I'm going to do another Reborn video today. I hate to do like a lot of videos in one day and wear the same shirt for every one of them. Sometimes I just change my shirt for 15 minutes and put it back on the hanger and put it in the closet. Because I don't want to just wear the same one for all the videos. Tell me if you do it. If you guys do that. Bah. So I'm going to go. I'm going to eat. I'm going to relax. I've been actually on my feet almost, almost all day except for a couple hours, but, so, I've enjoyed today, I've enjoyed showing you what I made today, and discussed a whole bunch of stuff, and my hair is kind of funky, but I don't care, so, I'm going to enjoy this soggy meatball hero, and this nice and crispy one on this side, good night guys, thank you so much for watching, love you so much, and, thank you for watching babies, I-E-S, big L-U-V, space nursery. Bye, guys.